Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's tutorial, I will demonstrate how to make a six panel skirt without cutting out the fabric. Hi, my name is Ayo and welcome to 011 Clothing Tutorials. On this channel, I upload DIYs, pattern drafting and sewing tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you! I will be working with the following items. Lining fabric, African print fabric, fabric some interfacing, tape measure, water erasable fabric pencil, short zip, a matching thread, a pair of scissors, ruler. I'm working with the following measurements. Hip circumference 35 inches, hip circumference 43 inches, waist to knee measurement 20 inches, desired skirt length 42 inches. So I have here this African print fabric which I intend to use to make the six panel skirt. I won't cut out the fabric. So you have the option of loosening the skirt later on and turning it into a wrapper. The width of the fabric is my hip circumference measurement multiplied by 2 and this is equal to 43 inches multiplied by 2 and this is equal to 86 inches. I will now add additional 2 inches to the 86 inches for the zip allowance at the center back of the skirt and this makes the fabric width a total of 88 inches. So the fabric width is 88 inches. You have several options when determining the fabric width that you, that you want to work with. You can multiply your hip circumference measurement by 1.5, by 2, by 2.5, by 3, by 3.5 and by 4. Although I will advise that you do not exceed the hip circumference measurement multiplied by 3 so that your skirt is not too bulky. Remember that we won't be cutting out the fabric and also so that you have enough fabric left to make the blouse of the outfit. As for the length of the fabric, the length of the fabric is the full length of the skirt plus additional 1.5 inches for the seam allowance at the top and also at the end of the skirt. And this is equal to 43.5 inches. I have also gone ahead to cut out the lining fabric. The width of the lining fabric is the same as the width of the Ankara fabric which is 88 inches. As for the length of the lining fabric, I will subtract 2 inches from the length of the Ankara fabric and this is equal to 43.5 inches minus 2 inches and this gave me 41.5 inches. So the length of the lining fabric is 41.5 inches which is 2 inches shorter than the main fabric. So I, have, so I have placed the lining fabric on top of the African print fabric, right side to right side. I will make sure that the two pieces are well aligned. Then I will stitch on my sewing machine using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do the same thing for the other side as well. So now the stitching has been done and I have turned the fabric to the right side. I have also pressed both edges with a pressing iron. The hem of the lining should have been overlocked or hemmed by this time but I didn't do this because this is the selvage of the lining and hemming is not necessary. At the upper part, I have also basted the lining and the African print fabric together. 
So this is what the African print fabric together with the lining fabric looks like now. I will now fold the fabric into two so the right sides of the Ankara fabric are together. This open end will be the center back of the skirt. I will now measure and mark 7.5 inches for the length of the zip opening like this. I will also measure and mark the remaining half an inch all the way down to the hem. Remember that we used 1 inch for the zip allowance on both sides making it 2 inches. So we have half an inch left on both sides. So we are going to stick that down my sewing machine later on i will now go ahead and fix the zip using the labbed zipper technique to fix the zip to the center back so now i have gone to fix the zip to the center back of the skirt using the labbed zip zipper technique Now I have turned the fabric to the wrong side and I have arranged the fabric in such a way that the zip is centralized. I have also notched the two positions of the side seams. So I have notched the side seams, the two side seams. So this is the sides, this side will be the side seam, these two sides. I will now go ahead to measure and mark 9 inches for the position of the hip line. The standard length for the hip, hip line from the waistline is around 8 to 9 inches but I will be using 9 inches for mine. I will square a line across horizontally like this. And this line is the hip line. My waist to knee measurement is 20 inches. So I will go ahead to measure and mark 20 inches from the waistline downwards like this. I will square a line across horizontally like this. I will now go ahead and transfer the hip line and the knee line to the other side of the fabric like this. So now I have marked the hip line and the knee line throughout the fabric. I will now go ahead I measure out the fabric width again. By now it would have reduced because of the zip that was fixed to the center back of the fabric. So the new fabric width is 85 inches. The original fabric width was 88 inches but it has now reduced to 85 inches. And it is this 85 inches that I'll be working with. My, my waist circumference measurement is 35 inches, but I won't, I won't be using my waist circumference at the waistline because I want to use a side elastic waistband for the waist. So I will use my hip circumference measurement at the waistline instead. And my hip circumference measurement is 43 inches. Next, I have to estimate the exact amount of fabric that I will hold at the waistline, hip line, knee and also at the hem so as to create the illusion of a six panel skirt. So I will subtract my hip circumference measurement from the fabric width measurement and my hip circumference measurement is 43 inches. I will add one inch for ease and this is equal to 43 inches plus one and this is equal to 44 inches. I will now subtract the hip circumference from the fabric width. The fabric width is 85 inches. 
and the hip circumference is 44 inches so 85 inches minus 44 inches is equal to 41 inches to estimate the knee circumference for the skirt i will subtract 4 inches from my hip circumference measurement and this is equal to 43 inches minus 4 and this is equal to 39 inches i will add 1 inch for ease to this and this is equal to 40 inches I will now go ahead to subtract the knee circumference value from the from the fabric width and this goes 85 inches minus 40 inches and this goes to 45 inches for the flare at the end of the skirt all that i will do at the end of the skirt is to make provision for the seam allowance of one inch and since we have six panels for the skirt and this is equal to 1 times 6 and this is equal to 6 inches the entire fabric width is 85 inches and we have 6 panels for the skirt so I will divide 85 inches by 6 and this is equal to 14.2 inches and this is the measurement that I will use to divide the fabric into 6 panels so this is the fabric that I'm working with and it is already well aligned. These are the two positions of the side seams which I've already notched. The center front has also already been notched. I've already notched the center front and the center front matches up with the zip at the center back. The fabric width divided by 6 is 14.2 inches. So I will go ahead to measure and mark 14.2 inches from the two side seams like this at the waistline, at the hip line and also at the end. I will connect all the points together vertically with my ruler. I will now flip the fabric to the other side and I will also re repeat the same thing that I did to the other side on this side as well. So now I have successfully divided the fabric into six panels. I will now go ahead and use my pins to hold the two side seams and the vertical division lines which I have already drawn on the fabric.
The fabric width minus the hip circumference is 41 inches. The fabric width minus the knee circumference is 45 inches. As for the flare at the end of the skirt, I will multiply a seam allowance of 1 inch by 6 because we have 6 panels for the skirt and this is equal to 6 inches. I have to calculate the exact amount of fabric to hold at each panel. So at the waist and the hip line, I will divide the difference between the fabric width and the hip circumference by 12. And this is 41 divided by 12 and this is equal to 3.4 inches. At the knee, I will divide the difference between the fabric width and the knee circumference by 12 and this is equal to 45 divided by 12 and this is equal to 3.75 inches. At the end, I will divide the 6 inches seam allowance by 12 and this is equal to 0.5 inch. So on the waistline, I will measure and mark the 3.4 inches that I calculated earlier like this. At the hip line, I will measure and mark the 3.4 inches also. At the knee, I will measure and mark the 3.75 inches that I estimated earlier. At the M, I will measure and mark half an inch. I will now connect these points together with a ruler. I will repeat the same thing for all the vertical division lines and the side seam which I have already secured in place with my pins. So now I have gone ahead to do all the markings. What I will do now is to stitch all the guidelines on my sewing machine. So now the stitching has been done as you can see following the guidelines which I drew on the fabric. And I've also pressed all the same lines in place on the right side of the fabric. I will now go ahead and turn it to the right side like this. And this is what the fabric or rather the skirt looks like, looks like now. We are now having the shape of a six panel skirt. I will fix a side elastic waistband to the waistband of the skirt. So I have here this piece of fabric which I intend to use for the waistband of the skirt. And I've already ironed the same allowances in place and I've also already fused interfacing to the wrong side of the band. The band is 4 inches wide. And as for the length, it should go around the waistline plus extra 2 inches allowance 
I will use this one inch wide elastic to create the side elastic waistband for the skirt. I will also go ahead and aim the lower part of the skirt. I have a detailed tutorial on my channel on how to fix a side elastic waistband. The link will be above and in the description box below. So now I have gone ahead to fix the side elastic waistband to the waistline of the skirt as you can see. I have also fixed a hook and bar to the waistband of the skirt at the center back. I have also gone ahead, I have also gone ahead to aim the lower part of the skirt. And this is the final look of the six panel skirt. So that's it guys, we are done. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Share this video with your friends who are interested in sewing and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you so much for watching.